Good morning. Welcome to mom and baby. Hopefully your babies are happy and well napped and fed and everything. Um, so this is 40, 45 minutes of a great workout for you to engage with your baby while getting a good sweat on. So I don't know about you guys, but uh, for me, my wrists are taking the brunt of all this holding baby, lifting baby, feeding baby. So we're gonna start by extending our arms out. You can start in a seated position, arms extended out over your baby to keep them interested. And you're just gonna draw circles with your wrists in one direction. Hello, and feel free and excuse my, my baby voice, but I'm trying to keep Kalia engaged the whole time too. Okay, switch directions. Yay! All right, you're gonna reach your arms up by your ears, squeeze those shoulders down from your ears, and then you're gonna draw your arms down to your hips. Good, inhale up, and exhale down. Try to keep your arms beside your ears, or like to your side body, so not coming forward, keeping it back, just to get that chest and shoulder stretch. Let's do two more. Yay! Let's let's put them on these fingers. Last one. And pulling down. Okay. Let's plant your hands on the side of your baby, on the other side. You're gonna reach back to start with child's pose. So knees wide, reach those hips back. Reach your hands forward, you can tickle your baby. <laughs> Just don't get kicked in the face. <laughs> All right. You can sway side to side. So moving side to side, pressing your weight from one arm over to the other, keeping your hips reaching back in the opposite direction. Good, let's push back over our baby, coming into hands and knees. So from here, knees are hip distance. Let's drop your belly down to the mat. Whoa. So for some cat cows, on an exhale, you're gonna look up, inhale, sorry, inhale, tucking your tailbone in, chin to chest. And looking up, dropping your belly down to the mat. Reverse breathing, I'm sorry. Exhale, pulling your chin to chest, tucking the tailbone in. Inhale, looking up. Let's do three more. Just warming up the spine before we move. Aye. <laughs> I always wear this ponytail and she always pulls it. So maybe mommy should learn not to do that. Good, last one. All right, let's go hip rolls, okay? So neutral spine here, and then you're gonna draw big circles with your hips in one direction. Big, 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 big circles. And opposite direction. <laughs> okay, from here, let's plant both hands down on the mat and press into your first downward dog. Reach those hips up and back. Press the shoulders away from the ears. Draw one heel down at a time. Hello, make sure you're right over your baby. Stay engaged so they're happy. If baby's happy, you know mommy's happy, right? Okay. So from here, you're gonna press forward into a plank, waking up the core. Actively drawing the belly button into spine. Exhale, push back, downward dog. Good, inhale forward. Exhale back. Good, let's do that one more time. Hello, Kelly. And exhale, push back. Okay, from here, you're gonna reach your right leg straight up. Open up the hips. Point that knee towards the sky. And then you'll drop your foot down beside your right hand. Okay, there we go. All right, so dropping your back knee, sinking your hip down. So you're in a low lunge stretch. 
Let's add the arm, same arm as the leg. Right arm reaches across the body, sweep past the baby, and twist opening up. Good, inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Two more times. And last one. All right, you're gonna plant both hands down. Step back into plank. Push back, downward dog. Let's go ahead and lift that left leg straight up. Knee to sky. And exhale, planting beside the left hand. Dropping that back knee down. Good, sinking the right hip down towards the mat, towards baby. Hello, baby. And you're gonna add the arm, left arm sweeps across your body. And hello, baby, opening up, windmilling up. Good, two more times or three more times. And open, last two. And last one. All right, planting both hands down. Let's step back one more time. Press up into plank. You're gonna inchworm your way up to standing. All the way up to standing. Okay, let's do a few squats just to warm up the hips because we will be doing some squats. So feet hip distance. Hello, baby. We're gonna pick up baby uh, a little bit later for our squats, okay? So hands up at your ears, elbows out. Let's squat nice and low. And we're gonna go for eight. Inhale down, exhale up. Three. Four. Five. Last three. Two. Last one here, come all the way up. Now hinge forward, you're gonna inch from back to plank. Hello. All right, inchworm back up. We're gonna do five of these. Some people hate these, some people love them. They're excellent for warming up the body. Walking forward into plank over baby and walk it back up. Excellent for warming up the shoulders, the core, opening up through the back of the body. And walking up, last two. If you're slower, then me, do not even worry about it. We'll take a little break and you can catch up. And last one. Come to plank and then come all the way back to standing. Okay, I have one more exercise. So that's the first. So the way the workout's gonna go today is we have five exercises we're gonna do two rounds of. It's a mixture of standing and on the mat. So it gives you a little break for like holding baby and putting baby down and resting your arms. And then we'll do a, a mat sequence, a short mat sequence at the end, okay? So the next exercise is from plank, you're gonna do low lunges, alternating low lunges, okay? Targeting the lower body. So coming into plank, hello. All right, these can also be called front steps, but we'll do it this way first, okay? So from plank, you're gonna step forward with your right foot. Keep the back leg up this time. Your hand comes off the mat, same hand as the leg. All right, plant the hand down, step the foot back. Left leg comes forward. Sink the hip, but keeping the back knee off the mat. Your hand comes up, same time as your leg. Plant your hand, step back to plank. So you're gonna alternate. Plant the hand, step back. Alternate legs, hello, hello. And step back, forward and back. Forward and back. Come on, let's go four more on each side. Building heat in the body. Good, three. Yay. Two. Your hand can entertain your baby here. And one more on each side. Woo! And let's come all the way down to your knees. You can sit back in the child's pose if you'd like, if you need a little bit of break for those shoulders. Otherwise, we're gonna pick your baby up now and coming into your squats. 
All right. Your poor little toesies are so cold. Okay, we're coming up with mama. So when it comes to holding your baby, uh, you are going to make sure you're holding the baby close to your body, all right? So not out here, pull close to your body. Always try to keep your chest or your um, upper back muscles engaged. So squeezing those shoulders back, all right? Core is working here. So holding on probably at the chest and under the bum, but really whatever is comfortable for you. Feet, squat position. We're gonna go, ready? Let's bend the knees and squat those hips down. Squeeze the glutes, come all the way up. Honestly, babies love this, especially if they can see themselves. It's like an elevator ride. All right, we're gonna go for five. So this is three, four. Last one. Okay, if you've been um, squatting with me for a while, we're gonna intensify this a little bit by adding a pulse at the bottom, okay? So ready, you're gonna squat, pulse, and then up. Squat, pulse, and up. And hey, if that's way too much work for you, or your pelvic floor muscles are like, no, this is terrible, just stick to the squat. Okay, you also don't have to hold your baby during the workout. If she or he is happy on the mat, just leave them there, if you prefer. Whatever's good for you. Three more. The pulse really makes this so much harder. Two. Okay, last one. And rest. All right, was that fun? Was that fun, Kalia? Okay, next exercise, I'm gonna switch my grip with the baby. So switching hands, just make sure you don't drop your baby. Um, and we're gonna do curtsy lunge. All right, so make sure you have space. So curtsy lunge, feet are hip distance, and you're gonna step to the side and back, okay? To the side and back over. Bend both knees, come back to the center, feet hip distance, and other side, bend the knees, and up. So you're just gonna continue to alternate sides. Is this fun, Kelly? Fun, fun, fun? There you go. Take your breaks and make sure your baby's happy. It's actually good, good for you in the long run because you'll stay engaged longer, right? Right? Okay, keep going nice and slow. My heart rate is climbing. I hope yours is too. Doesn't need to get out of control here. But we are putting in good work. Let's go three more. And when I say three, that's three on each side. So it's a total of six lunges, two. Good, one more each side. And rest. Okay, we have one more standing exercise. It's gonna be the press. Okay, so working the shoulders and the chest. So I'm gonna add a little knee, a little knee hop that's gonna help you press the baby up. All right, so if you're lower, if you think this is not good, your baby's like 25 pounds and you're like, there's no way, then you don't have to do this. You can just hold your baby, okay? All right, so baby facing you, core engaged, squeeze those shoulders back. You're gonna bend your knee a little bit. And as you hop up, you'll press your baby up. Come back to center, you got five, ready? Bend the knee and press up. Good, inhale, bend the knee, exhale, hey, two more, yay, and last one, pop it up, all right, bring baby close to you when you're done, little hugs and sways, good job, good job, baby, did you like that, is that fun, all right, we're going to come down to the mat, what are we doing? Oh, we're gonna do our bridges. Okay, this is usually the baby's favorite. I'm gonna grab a sip of water and then you're gonna to come to lie on your back. Lie on your back with your baby sitting on your hips. So I'm keeping the exercises moving and they vary between seated 
and standing so that the baby never gets bored, right? So you're lying on your back, feet are hip distance. We will pretty much always do bridges in this class because it's just so good for helping to rebuild the core and pelvic floor muscles. So feet hip distance, knees hip distance, holding your baby securely on your hips. And you're gonna exhale, tuck the tailbone in, drive the hips all the way up, squeezing glutes at the top, slowly, slowly lower. Hey, if you want to, you can add an airplane to the baby. Hello! <laughs> and then slowly lower hips down and baby down. So exhale, hips come up, and then you can lift the baby up over your chest and shoulders if they like it, if it feels good, and slowly coming down. That's just a little add-on. If they seem a little happier just sitting on your hips, that's fine too. We're gonna go for five more, nice and slow. Hips hover on the mat. Four. Three. You really want your dino, don't you? Two. And last one. Lower all the way down. We're gonna add on to this. Okay, what would you like? You want this one? So just take a little mini rest, 10 more seconds here. You can windshield wiper the knees side to side if that feels good. We're gonna lift those hips up and do our marching bridge next. So plant those feet down again, tuck the tailbone under, drive the hips all the way up. Marching bridge, so you're gonna pick up one leg, bend the knee in towards the body and switch. Try to keep those hips up. Okay, she just puked all over her toy and it's spraying all over my shirt. <laughs> there goes your apple and pear puree. <laughs> keep going, keep those hips up as you walk those knees up. Great. Five more, hips up. Four, three, Two, you're happy now, aren't you? Last one, slowly lower all the way down. You can hug your knees into your chest or just windshield wiper your knees side to side. We are the distance of your mat. All right. Okay, good job, Kelly. Maybe it's my fault for lifting you up and over like that so many times. So you can rest your baby. We're gonna start from the top. If your baby's happy to do so, you can rest them back on the blanket. Okay, her pants are covered in carrot <clears throat> puree. So we're just gonna go ahead and take those off. <laughs> Seems happy as ever though. All right, how are we doing? Good, okay, awesome. All right, grab a quick, quick sip of water. First exercise is the inchworm, which we're gonna do five. But we are gonna add on a push-up. Okay, so once you inchworm into plank, you're gonna push up, come back to plank, and then walk all the way back up, all right? So the push-up, you can do either from toes or from knees, whatever is more comfortable for you. So starting at the end of your mat from standing, you're gonna inch from hinge from the hip, legs as straight as possible, walk those hands to plank. So if you're doing a push-up, your hands might wanna be positioned a little wider than your shoulders. Bend those elbows, kiss your baby, Mwah. press back up, and walking back up to standing. <laughs> All right, four more, walking forward. You're at a position, little one. And push up, Mwah. kiss your baby. Walking back up to standing. Three more. <laughs> hmm. There you go. Last two. Hi. <laughs> And last one here. Don't worry if you're moving a little slower. Take your time. We will all rest. 
for 20, 30 seconds together. All right. Okay, are we all done? Okay, good. We will come down into plank again. This time we'll do the front step, okay? It's kind of like the alternating lunges, but it's gonna load up your quads, your thighs a little bit more. So hands and knees, you're gonna start it instead of from plank. So starting on hands and knees, lift those knees up off the mat two inches. Okay, on an exhale, push those hips back over your heels, knees go wide. This is from Animal Flow, this is called Loaded Beast. From here, you're gonna power forward, same thing as before. Power forward with your right foot, come into a front lunge, hand comes up. Right hand comes up as well. Plant your hand, step back into that Loaded Beast position where your knees are wide, hips are back. And other leg, left foot steps forward. Left hand comes up. Good, plant your hands down and step back. Good, four more on each side. And back. Make sure you're breathing. Ideal to exhale as you step forward and back. These really build up a lot of heat through the quads and the core. All right, we got one more on each side. And back, the last one here, and back. Come into child's pose, so stay back in loaded beast, drop those knees, reach the hands forward, resting here. All right, hope you felt those. Those are excellent for building strength through the quads, supporting you for the squats that we're gonna do very soon. Not missing anything, right? Okay, squats. I still have puree on my shirt, so one second. Just a little carrot puree, no big deal. You ready to come up? So you're gonna pick your baby up, come back into the squat position. We're gonna do five. Hey, you must be teething. So hold your baby comfortably close to you. Whatever that feels like and looks like is fine. All right, feet squat position. All right. We're going to go right into the pulse squats. Okay, if you're not pulsing, no big deal. Just do your regular squats. Ready, and let's go. Down, pulse. And up. So try not to bounce too much with the pulses, which tends to happen because it helps you bounce back up. Pulse with control and then drive through your heels, squeeze your glutes, come up. Four. Yeah, do you miss your toy? We'll get it in a second, okay? Oh look, who's that? That's you, where'd you go? <laughs> All right, we got 12, so this is seven. Don't worry, I'm counting. Sometimes they forget to count, <laughs> or not right now. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Yeah, awesome, awesome. If you'd like, this is a good opportunity to switch your grip on your baby, just to balance it, because we got those curtsy lunges. Toes are just as good of a toy as any other toy, right? <laughs> okay, curtsy lunges. I'm just gonna move my blanket here. We're gonna do eight on each leg, all right? So it's a total of 16 lunges. Hold your baby close. Brace yourself, standing nice and tall. Let's go, lunge to the side, bend your knee, and come to center, other side. We're going nice and slow. Yeah, two, three, four, awesome. Last three on each side, so that's a total of six lunges. Two. This baby didn't sleep till 10.30 last night. <laughs> like that never happens. 
And last one. I'm surprised she's being so good. Okay, walk it off, walk it off. You're gonna turn your baby around to face you for those presses. Okay. So make sure you have a good grip on your baby. So adding the knee is just gonna help you press it up. If you wanna just strictly make it hard for your chest and shoulders, no hop, okay? I like the knee, I think the baby likes the knee as well. Ready, shoulders back, core tight, bend the knee, exhale, press. Hi, bring closer to you. And exhale, press. Two, three, mwah. two more. Two, mwah. and last one. Mwah. Babies love that too, oh my goodness. That eye contact with mama. Okay, that's good. We're gonna come back to the mat and stay on the mat now. All right, so we'll come back down. Grab a sip of water if you're thirsty. We're gonna start with the bridges. So lying on your back. Hello. Lying on your back. Feet hip distance. Baby is happily sitting. Uh, Kelly wants toy. So here, hold on to your toy. All right, we'll do one more set of the bridge for eight, and then we'll do marching bridge for eight, okay, on each leg. So feet hip distance, let's peel that tailbone off the mat, drive those hips all the way up, squeeze the glutes, and then slowly lower down. Remember, you can always add the airplane baby if you'd like. Two, mine's like chilling out with her toy, hoping she doesn't puke on me again, so I'm just gonna leave her here. Three. Good, exhale up for four. Five. Six. Seven. Guys, one more. Lower all the way down, we'll take a little mini break. Walk the feet to the distance of your mat and dropping your knees, swaying them side to side. Stretching out the hip flexors, any tension that's gathered in the lower back is releasing now. All right, let's press it down again. Sorry, press your feet down into the mat and you're gonna peel your tailbone off the mat. Staying high here, we're gonna go walking bridges. One leg up, other leg up. Most important thing here is that you are trying to keep your hips off the mat as high as possible. Walking those ridges nice and slow. Hi. Hi. Ooh. Half an hour is usually about it, eh? Hey, mamas? They last for half an hour and then they're like, on to the next. All right, one more marching bridge on each leg. Yeah, got a foot in the face now and lower all the way down. Okay, good stuff. That's the circuit. We did two rounds. Good job, us. Woo. Now we're gonna do a little bit of core and then we'll stretch it out. All right, so I'm gonna put Kalia down beside me now and let her play with a toy because that's what it seems like she wants to do. You can do whatever you think your baby would keep your baby happy. We got 10 minutes left of class. We're gonna do a little core work, all right? We're gonna start with heel taps. So wherever you are, you can still have your baby sitting on your stomach, or not your stomach, but on your hips, if you'd like for these. Uh, it takes a lot of concentration, so if your baby's there, hopefully you can still focus or have him or her lying beside you. So from here, you're lying on your back in your starting bridge position, but you're not gonna bridge. You're gonna keep your hips down and you're gonna press your lower back into the mat, okay? See how that already makes you engage your core or connect your core, all right? So it's almost like you're pulling your hip bones closer to the tips of your rib cage, the bottom of your rib cage, all right? Keep your lower back pressed in. 
you're gonna bring your legs to tabletop. All right, so your uh, shins are parallel to the ground here. You're drawing a 90 degree angle with your feet, with your legs. From here, you're gonna take a deep inhale as you lower one heel down towards the mat on a count of three. Tap that heel on a count of three coming back up. So this is really, really slow mindful movement. And then inhale, other leg goes down to three, tap and exhale up two, three. So even I feel my lower back peeling off the mat as I do this. So you need to intentionally think about pressing that lower back back into the mat. Inhale down, exhale back up. Focus on your breathing. And remember you're lowering and lifting on a count of three. If you need to take a break here, go ahead and take a break. There's no point pushing through. If it's excruciating, you can't breathe or you can't keep your lower back on the mat. All right, let's do two more. Inhale, lower, exhale, up. Last one, lower down and exhale up. Let's go ahead and hug our knees into chest. Rolling side to side. Hello, baby. Hi, what happened to your dino? What happened to your dino? All right, we're gonna roll over to the side for some side planks. Let's do a modified side plank. Here. Okay, so you can come down to your elbow and your knees. If you've done, you've been doing side planks for sure, go ahead into your feet and your hands if that feels good, whatever feels good for you. Wherever you are in your side plank, don't drop down into your shoulders. So stay nice and lifted through your rib cage and your shoulder joint, all right? And you're gonna lift those hips up, reaching your other arm up towards the sky. Drive those hips high, 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 as high as you can. What is the problem? Holding, we're doing an isometric hold here. Keep those hips up. Three, two, one. Now you're gonna do mini dips down and up. Mini dips. Maybe you're only lowering two inches. Three. And we're gonna go up to eight. So four more here. Should be feeling the obliques working. Can you hear me past my baby? <laughs> And last one, and lower all the way down. Okay, let's switch sides. What's going on with you? Okay, other side. So whichever variation you did on the other side, let's do that. The same thing on this side, keep it balanced, okay? So stay lifted. All right, all right. Maybe you can sit next to me like this. So coming up onto your side plank. Oh, I can't wait till you can sit up. That's kind of it. All right, holding for three. <laughs> oh, 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 two. <laughs> One. They split. Okay, we're gonna dip the hips down and up. Hi. Is that an interesting place to be? Tiny little dips, guys, staying lifted through the rib cage and shoulders. We've got this is three, we're going up to eight. Other arm can be extended up to the sky. It's a tiny little movement. Six, seven, and eight. All right, okay, baby. Are you comfortable like that? You're gonna roll onto your stomach. Hi. We're gonna do some modified planks. So if you have um, any core issues, DR, diastasis recti, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to do a modified plank, but if planks are not for you, you can definitely skip through this portion and just play with your baby. We're not gonna be here for a long period of time. From modified plank, which I hope we're all gonna start a modified plank, you're gonna keep your hips shifted forward, okay? This is where your hips wanna be, not back here. Don't leave your hips behind. Squeeze your glutes, reach your hips forward and down. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to tap for your opposite shoulder and down without moving any other muscles, all right? And then your hand 
goes right back where you picked it up, right under the shoulders. Okay, this is tough work, guys. I feel like it's even harder from your knees than from toes. You really just do not want to let your hips rock side to side. You're tapping and holding for two seconds. Woo, these are hard work, right, aren't they? One, two, let's go. Two more, guys. And last one here. <laughs> and rest. Okay, we're gonna go hips back. Let's stretch it out, child's pose. Mwah. You're not alone, it's just a different perspective. It's just a different perspective. Let me go here. All right, we're gonna cool down now. So let's walk both hands over to the left in your child's pose position. Right hand's gonna come on top of your left and you're gonna sink over to the right, stretching through the right side of the body. Oh, who's this? Who's this? Hi. All right, and you're gonna walk it back over to the other side. Left hand on right, shifting your hips over to the left. Okay, let's come all the way up to seated. You're gonna take your baby with you if you'd like. I'm taking mine. She is gonna sit on my lap. Hopefully she's cool for five minutes. All right, this is an awesome opener for the shoulders, the neck. All right, so hands on the top of your shoulders. You're gonna draw your elbows together. I did this in the flow class the other day. Elbows together, draw your chin to chest. And you're gonna reach your elbows up and then draw in a big circle wingspan, as big and wide of a wingspan as possible with those elbows coming back to touch in front. Reaching up, big circle, elbows go up towards the sky. Big circles coming all the way back. Let's do that one more time. All the way up, elbows up and down. Okay, hands come behind you. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. You're gonna draw your chin to your chest. And roll the head over right ear to right shoulder. And then other side. All right, inward class is done. <laughs> She's over it. One more time, side to side. And rest, shoulder rolls, work it out. Okay, are you okay? Should we do one little stretch for the lower body? Let's do one little stretch, okay? If your baby's cool, extend one leg out, one leg in, and then you're just gonna fold over, okay? So my one hand's gonna hold the baby. Other arm reaches up and over, stretching through the side body, reaching for your toes. What do you want? Is it nap time again? All right, coming up and switching sides. Oh. All right, we're going to go. Arms up and over, reaching for your toe. Whoa. <laughs> I almost lost my baby. All right, and that's 